It's Tuesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Appearing in Summit County Court today at 2 o'clock are former and suspended school district employees in the latest chapter of the Leonard Graham's sex assault case. The employees, including Summit Middle School Principal Greg Guevara, are accused of failing to report child abuse. Those charges still stand, even though a jury recently found Graham's not guilty. We invite you to meet two more of the volunteer candidates running for Summit School Board. Here is newly appointed board president Consuela Redhorse running for a second term. There's probably board members that have served four years and felt really comfortable with what they're able to get done. For me personally, it probably took at least two years to even, you know, start understanding what my job was. Frisco's Danielle Surrett is back for a second campaign after losing in the last election. There are a lot of things that we can agree upon. You know, most people agree that academics, test scores aren't everything, but they are important and they are a measure of where we are. Both agree on academics. The two differ immensely on education philosophy. Stay tuned for more. Colorado's statewide nicotine tax made more money than expected, $24 million more. Coming up on the November ballot is Proposition II. It would let the state keep that extra money for universal preschool. If it fails, excess money goes back to wholesalers that sell nicotine products, and the future state tax rate would be slashed. Summit County is coming up on its final year of ballooning local nicotine taxes. Next year, products and devices are taxed at 80%. Summit County will lose an estimated $4 million to the new town of Keystone. Most of that cash is coming from sales taxes. For a third straight year, Summit County expects to spend more than it makes in the general fund. More highlights now from this year's county budget. A temporary mill levy reduction is in order for property tax relief. And the county's budgeting $4 million for a major overhaul of Swan Mountain Road. The rest of the funding, 80%, comes from grant money. A vacation rental in Telluride is about to get more expensive. This from the Colorado Sun. Telluride will lift a moratorium on short-term rental licenses and replace it with an annual fee of $857 per bedroom. That's about 100 bucks more than Breck's fee, $400 less than Estes Park. Odds are rental owners will pass those costs on to renters. Two mountaineers are dead and two more are missing on Shishipangma, one of the world's 14 tallest peaks. Multiple agencies report American climber Anagutu and her guide died in an avalanche when close to 50 others were trying to summit. Another American and a Nepalese guide, Tenjin Serpa, are still missing. Sherpa recently became the fastest and youngest to summit all 14 of the world's tallest peaks. Local fire dangers moderate today in summit, still with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Nuggets are back to defend their NBA title with the first preseason game of the year. It's tonight up against the Suns at 8 on TNT. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Summit High Boys Soccer is playing Rifle at home today, traveling to Rifle as the cross-country team for their final regular season meet. And Volleyball is playing Steamboat Springs right here in Summit. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.